with the Bacon Bit Squad and today I'm going to be talking with you guys about the Delta Sky Miles card. If you have been with me for quite some time you know that this is my preferred card that I use when I travel because I do use my Sky Mile points in order to get an airline ticket. However, recently they have made some changes to Delta Sky Miles so I want to kind of go over with you guys how that may impact my summer 2024 travel and just some things in general that I was thinking about doing regarding my summer 2024 travel. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure you stay tuned to this video. How Delta Scale Miles changes impact my summer 2024 travel. Before I share that information, I want you to see the credit cards that they do offer for consumers. I have one in particular. I have had a Delta Sky Miles card in the past, which I closed when I was trying to get out of credit card debt and pay off all of that debt. So I'm familiar with the cards that they have and I'm familiar with the card that I have. So let me just show you really quick what they have. We are on the Delta.com Sky Miles airline website as you can see right here and so you can always look for more information regarding the different cars that they have i'm not sponsored by delta i'm not sponsored by american express i'm just giving my opinions and sharing what's going on with the card and how it affects me it talks a little bit about 2024 sky miles program changes and we'll get into that here in a minute it gives a little bit of an overview of some of the benefits of the cards now, the first card here is the Delta Sky Miles Gold American Express card. It has 40,000 bonus miles that you will receive after you purchase $2,000 worth of eligible expenses on the card in the first six months. It does have an appealing $0 introductory annual fee for the first year, and then after that, it goes to $99. Next, we have the Delta Sky Miles Platinum American Express card. You can earn 50,000 bonus miles, $3,000 purchase in the first six months. It does have an annual $250 annual fee. Next, we have the Delta Sky Miles Reserve American Express card, where you can earn 60,000 bonus miles after you make $5,000 in eligible purchases within the first six months. It does have some information here, which talks about the changes that Delta is doing, where you will receive 10 visits per year to the Delta Sky Club, okay? And that will be effective February 1st, 2025. This card has an annual fee of $550. And last, we have the Delta Sky Miles Blue American Express card. You can earn 10,000 bonus miles after you spend $1,000 in eligible purchases on your new card in the first six months. It does have lots of benefits that you can see for each one of the cards. It gives a breakdown of the rates, the fees, all of the cards right here and where you can learn more information about them as well as the terms that apply, how many miles on Delta purchases you get at restaurants, supermarkets, if they are eligible for that eligible hotel purchases, first check bag fee, all of that main one cabin one priority boarding, foreign exchange rates. As you can see, it has a lot of information over these four cards. You can also get the business cards for American Express too. I personally don't have that. I have been invited to apply to get that. However, I just have the regular card. You guys know that for the last two years, I've used the Delta Sky Miles card in order to purchase my tickets whenever I've gone to the New England area. The card that I have is the Delta Sky Miles Gold card. And this is the one that I had previously back in 2012, 2013. This is the one that I closed. Now, why I chose this card was because it was very appealing to me as far as the introductory offer. So for me, it was I had to spend $3,000 within three months and I would receive 75,000 bonus miles. That pretty much did it for me because I knew that with that 75,000 miles, I could probably at least get three round trip tickets to pretty much anywhere here in the US, especially if I picked the right season or 
book the flight far enough out in advance. So that is why I chose this particular card. Now the Delta Sky Miles Gold, it only has the 40,000 bonus miles after $2,000 in purchases in six months. So they have reduced the number of bonus miles. So I think I, I really did get in at a good time, which was last year around July 2023. Some of the things that have actually appealed to me, the first check bag free. So if you know anything about any airlines or anything like that, you know that bag fees can be a lot, especially if you are traveling with multiple people in your party. Uh, so having that first check bag free is a win-win for me because sometimes I don't want to try and put my bag on the plane. And also I like to bring full-size products with me. So you know, if, if you have full-size products, you have to have those up under the plane. Also, this is something new that they introduced this year. So you take 15% off when using miles to book award travel on Delta Sky flights through delta.com and the Fly Delta app. To me, that is huge because it's giving you such a great discount and you're able to save all of those miles that you can use for other trips. They have the main cabin one priority boarding. I really do like this one because I don't have to wait and be in zone eight, which is like the very last zone. I typically purchase the basic economy ticket, but I still get the main cabin one priority boarding. You can also pay with your miles, as I stated before, for your ticket. So you can split it up. You can do all miles or you can do some miles and then some cash. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes. So let's go in here and see. So here it talks about the medallion status. It gives you some information right here. It talks about how you can earn the MQDs, the MQMs moving forward, the Delta Sky Club access changes. This is actually a really big one that people have been talking about not having access to the Sky Club as before. So it's not the, the main higher priority or earning cards that will have all of the access. If they do have the access, it will be very limited to where it's just certain amount of visits for you to go into the Sky Lounge. Now for me, I actually wanted to be able to go into the Sky Lounge uh, next summer because it just seems like it's much more relaxing. That It can get really, really crowded out in the regular waiting area while you're waiting that extra hour or two for your flight to come in so i have looked at the sky miles lounge before for delta having that access to it with my card i don't have regular access to it however i did read something to where it said that if i paid a fee I would be able to go into the lounge however right now that seems as though that won't even be happening at all because the platinum members as well as the reserve members here um, they will still have access but limited but those of us that have lower tier cards we won't have that same um, access whatsoever okay I did see on Delta's website here that there was like a $695 membership fee if you wanted to get access to the lounge. To me, that seems a little bit steep. However, for some people that may not be a lot of money, especially if you fly frequently and you like to be in comfort, you know, you want to have good healthy food, you want to be able to relax, you want the free Wi-Fi and all of those things. I mean, I totally get it. I actually wish that I was <laughs> able to get into the lounge myself but I understand with these changes that are coming about a lot of people are just saying that it's not fair we've stuck by you for such a long time through bankruptcy through 2020 through you know all of the change and then to basically strip away a lot of the benefits such as the Sky Miles Lounge. So for me, for my travel for summer 2024, it definitely kind of impacts me a little bit because I was looking at going to the lounge, but now that I know I, I won't be able to because that won't even be offered to my tier and probably not the blue tier either, um, if I had to guess, uh, because we're the lowest tiers there. It kind of bumps me out a little bit, but does that mean that I'll stop using my Delta Sky Miles card? Like, does that mean that I won't be booking my flight with Delta? 
Um, that is not what that means, okay? Um, it just means that I don't have access to those perks that others have, you know, that have the higher tiers. And that's okay. That's just something that I will personally have to live with. Now, if I had already been in the lounge and seen all that it had to offer and then it was kind of stripped away from me, I think I'll be a little bit more affected by it. But I do know that a lot of people that travel a lot, they really rely on that relaxation, especially because, you know, traveling can sometimes be very stressful, especially now with the pilot shortages, um, the delays that are going on, the overbooking. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're having to stay at the airport overnight or trying to find somewhere to stay outside of the airport in order to get a flight out the next day or two days or something like that. So. I definitely understand. I wanted to just kind of show you guys the different options regarding Delta Sky Miles. If you are looking for a travel card for in the future, I would not suggest again that you get a travel card or any type of credit card if you have trouble managing your money and or if you are not good with credit cards, meaning that you're just tempted to swipe, 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 swipe and not pay the credit card off. Uh, with this card, I do pay the credit card off every month that I use it. Like, I understand things happen. You know, we must use the credit cards wisely. So that is kind of like a sum of what's going on with Delta Sky Miles and the card that I have, which is the gold card, and just some of the changes that is going on. Um, if you want to look at more of the changes that Delta has, you can certainly go here on their website and see all of the changes that they have going on for in the future if you happen to enjoy this video please go ahead and subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments do you happen to have a travel card what do you think about what delta is doing now with take, taking away lounge access and the number of medallion points that individuals are getting all right until the next video bye